Hey, I'm John Cannell, and today on Preppy Kitchen, we're making a decadent and delicious Texas sheet cake. So let's get started. First off, set your oven to 350, and now in a medium pot, I'm adding one cup of water, one cup of butter, 226 grams, and one quarter cup of cocoa powder. You can use Dutch processed or regular, it's really up to you. In you go. I'm gonna place this over medium heat and bring it to a boil. While that happens, we'll get the rest of the cake together. All right, now in a large bowl, I'm adding two cups of flour, that's 240 grams, two cups of granulated sugar, that's 400 grams. This has come to a boil. I'm taking this off heat right now. To puff things up, one teaspoon of baking soda. There you go. I also want half a teaspoon of salt for a little bit of contrast. Grab a whisk. Let's whisk that together so it's nice and combined and you can hit any lumps. This cake is so good and it's so quick and easy. The key is to work fast because you're gonna make a delicious boiled chocolate pecan frosting and pour that over your hot cake. It's gonna be amazing. Okay, that's mixed up. In a smaller bowl, I want half a cup or 120 grams of sour cream. To the sour cream, I'm adding two whole room temperature eggs. One and two, no shells. Whisk this together. If you have like the best story ever for why this is called Texas cheat cake, you let me know. I was looking into it and clearly popular in Texas was named probably in Texas by a Texan, but the cake itself seems to be a variation of a German sweet chocolate cake, not the country, the company. So German chocolate cake is made by, was popularized by the German chocolate company. They have those green packages at the grocery store. All right, this is all ready. The one thing I didn't do is get my half sheet pan and just butter it up. You could use baking spray if you want to, but this just helps when you get the pieces out, but you serve it in the sheet pan, so don't worry about it being perfect. It's just kind of to help grease it up a little bit. Now I'm gonna add the sour cream mixture to the flour mixture. You'll probably wanna use an electric mixer, but today I wanna use my hands <laughs> and a whisk. I don't, I changed my mind. <laughs> I'm gonna use the electric hand mixer. I've done that before, it's a mistake. It's much easier just with a little machine to help you along. So we're gonna mix this up. It's gonna become a pretty thick batter, but don't forget we have our hot chocolate water butter mixture waiting to get added in. Okay. Once you get started, you can increase to medium speed and you just want this to be nicely combined. Just like that. So much easier, oh my gosh. Now I'm gonna add my warm chocolate mixture into the batter while mixing on low. <laughs> Don't you dare splatter on me. <laughs> Work this together until it is nice and smooth. Okay, I'm just gonna switch to a spatula and kind of like fold the bottom up to the top because there's a little bit of like denser stuff hanging out there. If you're wondering why we heated that mixture up, it's because that hot water butter combination really helps the cocoa powder bloom and then give you, just gives you an intense chocolate flavor. It's amazing. Similar things are done with brownies, if you recall. Okay, this is smooth and luscious. Oh my gosh, look at that. I'm gonna pour this right into my sheet pan now. You don't really have to smooth this batter out. You're just going to kind of let it go to the corner and come right back. There we go. It really levels out pretty easily on its own. So just give it a little bit of a nudge. This is ready to go into the oven 350 for 15, maybe 18 minutes or until a skewer in the middle comes out with like just a couple crumbs. In the meantime, we're gonna make the frosting because they have to be done together at the same time. In you go. Now for this frosting, it is just so good and really easy too. We're gonna add half a cup plus two tablespoons of unsalted butter into a medium pan or pot. There's the two tablespoons. Along with half of a cup of whole milk, 120 mils. One quarter cup of cocoa powder. I think I said half. Half a cup of cocoa powder. Quarter cup of cocoa powder. <laughs> 
one quarter cup of cocoa powder, 25 grams. This is gonna come to a boil too, just like before, so pop it over medium heat, and then while that's heating up, I'm gonna chop my pecans. There you go, and... I'm stirring this occasionally, but I'm also gonna chop my pecans. I want about a cup of finely chopped pecans. Bonus points if you toasted them. Give those a chop. This cake is like, it's beyond moist. Clearly it's like soaked in like this butter, cocoa powder milk situation. And it was already tender to begin with. So once you have all these creamy things, you want a little bit of texture and that's gonna come from the chopped pecans. If you really don't like pecans, skip it or use walnuts or hazelnuts, or you could skip it. What I'm trying to say is it's optional. <laughs> Okay, my pecans are chopped. I hear a gentle boil in the background. And if you're wondering like, gosh, that frosting sure doesn't have any sugar in it. Don't you worry, we'll get some sugar. We're gonna add that in. This came to a boil and I wanna tell you like, my cooktop is so hot. It is like half the time, half the time of almost anything else. So if your mixture warms up quickly and it's boiling, just take it off heat and you might warm it up again towards the end, right before you do the next step. That's what I'm gonna do. My cake just came out of the oven. Look, this beautiful she cake, a little bounce. Skewer came out clean. This is very heavy, by the way. <laughs> Pop that over there just for a minute. Bring your warm cocoa butter mixture over here. I'm gonna whisk in four cups of powdered sugar this will help bring things together too. You might have noticed that it's separated out. You have little pools of butter. That's okay. You're gonna whisk it, it's gonna be fine. It just needs the sugar to help bind it together. Ooh, look at that. One cup in, it's already like 100% better. Two cups in, hmm. This reminds me, I've had a few requests for um, like a boiled milk frosting. You let me know if you want that still. I'm, I've been thinking about making a video for it, but I'm just on the fence. I don't know if people really want that or if it's just one or two people. Last cup in, and we're just gonna mix this together. So smooth. Add those pecans in. This time we're gonna stir them in since our mixture is getting pretty full. I could eat this by the spoonful, by the way. <laughs> and now, bring your warm sheet cake back. Now you're gonna quickly pour all this amazing frosting over your warm cake and smooth it out. Use an offset spatula and gently pull that to the edges. This is amazing. We're gonna let it cool completely before slicing because it is very hot right now. <laughs> Once it's cool, you're ready to slice and enjoy. That is so good. I don't know how you couldn't love this. Pillowy soft chocolate cake that's this intensely chocolatey with that wonderful slick of icing on top to give you the perfect hit of sweetness with a little bit of crunch. I hope you get a chance to make this recipe, and if you like this video, check out my chocolate playlist.